Anji and welcome back to This Week in Sports, a segment where I tell you everything that has happened in the world of sports over the past week in just in or around two minutes. So this week I've got eight stories lined up for you, so it's going to take more than two minutes. So before we get into it, do not forget to like my video, subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends. And most importantly, do not forget to click on the notification bell. Now we are going to go to the video, we are going to put the timer on it. As usual, we're going to start off with cricket. Pakistan has climbed up to the third spot in the ICC ODI rankings. This is the first time in 15 years they've managed to get into the top three. And Pakistan is also ranked number three in T20I cricket and number five in test cricket. Continuing with cricket, Pakistan's opening batter Imam ul Haq has moved ahead of Irat Kohli in the latest ICC ODI batter rankings. He is now ranked number two in the world. This is the first time in history that Pakistanis occupy the top two positions in ODI rankings. Babar is first. Imam is second now, as well as Pakistanis have also occupied the top two batting positions in T20I cricket with Babar Azam at first and Rizwan at second. Third news also comes from cricket and this time it's a new world record. England registered the highest score in ODI cricket as they smashed 498 for four against Netherlands in the first ODI. David Milan, Phil Salt and Josh Butler struck centuries while Liam Livingston hit a quick fire half century. They also smashed the record for most sixes in an innings with 26 sixes. 14 of those came courtesy of Josh Butler while six were hit by Livingston. Three each were hit by Milan and Phil Salt. Another cricket news, according to Forbes, ICC is contemplating bringing back the Afro-Asian Cup in mid-2023, which means that Pakistani and Indian players are going to be playing together after a long time. The idea is set for discussion in the next ICC board meeting. Moving to football, the 2022 FIFA World Cup draws have been finalized. All 32 teams have booked their place in the mega win. Australia and Costa Rica were the final two teams to book their place in the World Cup as they defeated Peru and New Zealand respectively in their playoff finals. Earlier, Wales had qualified for the World Cup for the first time in 64 years as they defeated Ukraine in the European playoff. Continuing with football, the news comes from our neighbours India as they booked their place in the 2023 AFC Asian Cup. The second consecutive time that India will be playing in the tournament, they confirmed their qualification after topping their qualification group. They defeated Hong Kong 4-0 in their final group game. While Indian football continues to progress, Pakistan is still banned by FIFA for over a year. Moving to basketball, Golden State Warriors were crowned the 2022 NBA champions as they defeated Boston Celtics 4-2 in the NBA Finals. This is their first title since 2018 and their seventh title overall. Finally, the last news of the week comes from MMA. Pakistan's first MMA female fighter, Anita Kareem, won her bout against Win Ha of Australia in the Fairtex fight promotion in Bangkok. Known as the arm collector, Anita has a 3-2 win record in her short MMA career so far. So this was it. This is what happened in the world of sports over the past week. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, click on the like button, subscribe to my channel, share the video with your friends and click on the notification bell. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, Allah Hafiz.